with toddlers. I'm Anna Osteen and I run Lovely Lady Cakes and this is my daughter Elle. Say hi Elle. Hi. hi. So guys, I love just making lots of fun baking videos. I've started out, went to culinary school in 2006 at Le Cordon Bleu and I learned savory and sweet. So I've always just been cooking and baking since I was young. Been making lots of fun how-to videos. But recently I had a daughter, Elle, and we love to bake together. When I was a kid, it just made me so happy to sit up on the counter and watch my mom bake. So I am holding up that tradition with her. Do you like baking with me? Yeah. Yes, she does, good job. Well today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a strawberry gummy, but we're gonna use little animal cookie cutters. They're super cute. All right, so what you're gonna need is a whole bunch of strawberries. We're making strawberry. If you wanna mix it up and do another fruit like blueberries, that's fine, or just add a bunch of fruit and make it a variety, a little berry mix. I just took a whole bunch of strawberries, took off the top, cut them in half, and blended them in my blender. You just wanna keep pulsing, pulsing, pulsing until all your strawberries are just liquefied and ready to go. And then I poured it in a saucepan with a little bit of sugar and put it over the heat, a medium high heat, because you're gonna start gradually and slowly drizzling in your gelatin. So the gelatin is really the key to make it gummified for our little ones to play with. So we'll just drizzle that in really slowly and then you wanna whisk it and keep whisking it until you see its first bubble. That means it's starting to boil. And you want it to boil for a good 30 seconds, then take it off the heat and cool it down. So next I got a baking dish and I just lined it with a little bit of coconut oil or butter and then I poured my strawberry mixture right on into there, then popped it in the fridge for a good four hours to become gelatin. Mmm. <laughs> okay, so now our gelatin Look at that, it's ready to go. Uh, again, you can use a silicone baking mat and just or a, a mold and pour this gelatin right on in there and pop them out really quickly. But we're gonna take these cute little animal cookie cutters that I bought and Elle is going to cut into them. Which one are you gonna use, Elle? What's that one? Is that, what is that? Me. It's a pig. Okay, you ready? So this is what you do. Push it down, use your hand. Push hard. Oh. Okay, ready? Then pull it out, grab it. Oh my goodness, you made a little piggy. Here he is, let me get it out. Isn't he cute? Look at that piggy. <laughs> you wanna eat him? Oink, oink. Try it, what do you think? Mmm, can I have a bite? I'm gonna try. Me. Piggy! Ooh, that's really good. It's very flavorful. Okay, what's the next one? What's that? Me! A kitty! What does the kitty say? Oh. Aw, kitty say aw or meow. Yeah. Okay, you push. Hey, you gotta use the face. Oh! Look how cute he is! I was gonna eat them all, sorry guys. Oh, okay, your favorite animal is what? Puppet. Puppy. <laughs> yeah. Good job. <gasps> Look how cute. Oh, so cute. Let's... Oh. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that puppy. Show him the puppy dog. Show him. Wow, guys. This is so much fun and it's healthy. Another fun uh, thing I've noticed that some people like to do is make their own allergy relief gummy bears instead of buying them from the grocery store. And so I'll put a little bit of that in these, like vitamins for the baby. Healthy vitamins that you know all the ingredients that are going into it, it's kind of cool. But they only get one if it's a vitamin one. <laughs> right. Did you have fun making these? Bah. Oh my goodness. Bah. What's that? Yeah. What's ah. that? Elephant. Ah. What's the elephant say? Ah. <laughs> okay, you can have one more. And then we have to say goodbye. Look at him. Okay, tell everybody bye. Bye-bye. Bye, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Say bye. Bye.
give him a smile. Can you say, baked? Yeah. Can you say, apple? Yeah. Yeah, we're making baked apples. 